Hey everybody, my goal is to make five minute videos or less and show you how to make different parts. So this is gonna be the very first part that we make using Onshape. The first thing we're gonna do is hit the create button and go down to folder and we're gonna create a folder and just call it beginner. This is gonna be our introduction beginner folder. We're gonna create more folders for different projects. Go ahead and click create. Now I'm hitting cancel because mine's already created. The next thing we're going to do is hit create and then go to document. We are going to create an ice cube. Go ahead and hit OK and it should take a second. All right, while this is loading, I want to point out that you have three different views. You also have a navigation cube over here and we can see that if I rotate it here and click on it, um, it shows you the top view. If I spin it like that, it shows the bottom view. If I click corners, it shows like isometric views and I'm going to hit ISO here. And now I have the top, the front and the side over here on the left side, we have our features. You can also like turn off the different views as if it bothers you. Now, I also want to point out that I am using a mouse. This mouse I bought off of Amazon like five or six years ago. It's only used one battery and it is amazing. It's not a fancy one. It just has a left and right click and it has the roller. Um, you can also do everything on the trackpad and I'll be going back and forth from the mouse to the trackpad just so I have an experience of what it's like to do both and make sure that we can do everything with both. Um, however, if you have a mouse, use it. It's, it can be a game changer. And using CAD programs is a lot like gaming. A lot of people you'll find will be using a mouse with either their right or their left hand and then having the other hand on the keyboard. So let's get started making an ice cube. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the top view. I'm going to leave these off. If you have them on, that's okay. So I'm going to pick one of the views and I am going to hit sketch. And you'll notice that all of these icons just changed. I'm going to hit the down arrow and I'm going to pick a center point rectangle. I'm going to start here at the center point and I'm not really paying attention to dimension. So I'm going to make a tall, skinny rectangle that looks just like that. Um, and honestly, it doesn't matter what you make it. I'm, I want to point out that also, if we go over here from about here to the right are different what are called constraints. We're going to use this equals constraint because we're going to make an ice cube. If you leave your mouse over any icon, it will tell you what it is. It will tell you the shortcut of it. So this is the equals and it has an E. So anytime you type the letter E and then it also has a definition of what it does. So if I type E, all of a sudden it turns on there, it's it highlighted. And now I can click on the top of this rectangle and the right side of the rectangle and it snaps into position, making it a square. The next constraint I'm going to use is a dimension constraint. And I'm going to click on the top. I'm going to drag this up and it tells us that our dimensions are 2.8, blah, 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 blah. You will probably have something different. So I'm going to make a just straight two. So I'm going to type the number two and I am going to hit enter on my computer keyboard. Now, just to make sure if I click over here, look at that. It's two inches there because of that equals constraint that we used. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to green check that off and then I'm going to come over here to extrude. Extr what extrude does is as I click on the shape that I just made, it then makes a sketch that is a two dimensional picture into a three dimensional design. And if I want this to truly be a cube, I have to make that two inches. When I click the green check mark, you'll see that it jumps up and there's a little bit of a lag because I'm uh, recording this. Okay. If ever you're like, oh no, I forgot. I need to make it different. You can right click and you can go to edit and you can change it to whatever. If I change it to three, you'll see it gets a little bigger. Now I'm going to change it back to two by going to edit, making this two inches, hitting the green check mark and make sure it's saved, but it's great because it's cloud-based. So it's always saving. Good job. Thank you for watching.